NBC 25 in Flint. This is Mid Michigan Now. We're going to hold people responsible for betraying the trust we put in them to protect our children. The first civil lawsuits to come after last week's deadly Oxford High School shooting have now been filed. One in federal court, the other in state court, both by noted attorney Jeffrey Figer. As Mid Michigan House Mike Wolfolk reports, the lawsuits are on behalf of two girls left traumatized. The two girls are sisters, Riley and Bella Franz. Normally as victims and minors, we wouldn't use their names, but their parents want everyone to know their story and about the pain and suffering each now lives with. We're going to hold people responsible for betraying the trust we put in them to protect our children. With that, attorney Jeffrey Figer is filing two $100 million lawsuits against the Oxford School District, its superintendent, the high school principal, and six other employees, claiming their actions or inactions put his client's children in grave danger, violating their civil rights. I understand that this is not going to be easy. However, now is the time to do something about it. He's representing Jeffrey and Brandy Franz, both at Thursday's news conference. Their daughters, 17-year-old Riley and 14-year-old Bella, are students at Oxford High. Figer says the girls were both close friends of Hannah St. Juliana, and both were with Hannah when the alleged suspect gunned her down. Riley took a bullet in her neck. Bella saw it all happen. These are two ultimately beautiful children who now are going to have to go back to a school that they know was attacked and is a war zone. Figer's lawsuit blames the defendants for allowing the shooting to happen. Some or all of them were involved with Crumley in terms of the knowledge of what he had written, in terms of the knowledge of what he had drawn, in terms of their absolute knowledge that he presented a danger. He's filing the civil suit because under current Michigan law, he does not believe prosecutor Karen McDonald will be able to pursue criminal charges against the school officials. Jeffrey and Brandy Franz did not speak during the news conference. Both appeared to be holding back emotions as Figer addressed the reporters. Now, in addition to seeking justice for young Riley and Bella, Figer says he's tired of talking about situations like this. He's laying down the gauntlet, saying it's time for action. We're in Southfield, Mike Wolfolk, Mid Michigan Now.